Hi and welcome back to my channel. Since I made an impossibly long video last time, I thought I'd try to do a few tag videos or maybe some individual reviews for the next week to kind of make smaller content and then stuff that's that's going to be a little bit easier to consume. So the first thing I wanted to do was, even though I'm... Is the blizzard over? I don't know if the blizzard's over. On the west coast, it's been sort of unseasonably warm. Sorry about that. But in solidarity with the East Coast, I thought I would do RJ from the Secret Stacks has a blizzard book tag that's all about either books about winter or books that remind you, I guess, of the cold or in some cases reminds you of warm climates. So I'm going to have a little bit of look through my library to see what would fit the bill for that tag. So the first question is, what is your favorite wintry book cover? The first one that came to mind when I saw this was probably, and I know I talked about it, I think in my booktube newbie tag, but the Chris Van Allsburg covers of the Chronicles of Narnia series. The one that I always really particularly liked was the one for The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which I think is just Mr. Tumnus in the Snow with an Umbrella. Even though the whole point of that is that it's sort of forever winter and Christmas never comes and winter is kind of sad, there's something about that cover I always really liked, and it does remind me of winter, even though it almost never snows for Christmas here in B.C., well, I should say, here in Vancouver, in Upper BC, it definitely does. The second one is, what fictional technology, magic, or superpower would you most like to have in a snowstorm? Um, this is kind of nerdy. The first thing I thought about was I'd really like the replicator from Star Trek Next Generation. Because I think, you know, as long as I had some hot tea and something to eat, I'd probably be fine. Uh, other than that, I'm okay. I should probably dream bigger and and hope for, like, magic transportation powers but i don't know i like my place so if i had something to drink and eat it'd be cool that seems good uh number three is which character would you want to cuddle up with to keep you warm the first thing i thought of was ant beast from a wrinkle in time so not sexy at all i think she's meant to be like a big spider yeti but uh but apparently very warm and comforting and able to heal you if you're sick so that seems like a good a good bet if it's cold out Number four is, who's your favorite character who's a little icy and it takes a while for them to warm up? Um, the other first thought that popped into my head was Eleanor from Sense and Sensibility, that the whole point of her journey throughout the book is that she has a really, really hard time connecting with her emotions and with what she wants, and she's always looking out for everyone else, and that while she is quite warm-hearted, she keeps that very well disguised, and ultimately almost to her downfall. So I really like her as a character, and that was who I first thought of for that. Uh, the next one is, what fictional group of friends would you most like to have in a snowball fight? Again, I went with the first thing that popped into my head, which is the Marauders from Harry Potter, although technically not from Harry Potter, from select flashbacks from Harry Potter. But I feel like, despite the fact that they were kind of jerks later on, they seem like they'd be, they'd be a good team to have in a snowball fight, so that's who I would go with. And obviously we could use magic, so that would be awesome. All right, the next one is, which character would you most like to smack in the face with a snowball? Um, my first thought for this was actually Draco, but then I didn't want it to be too Harry Potter heavy. So I went with Holden Caulfield, because, I don't know, he's always complaining. Fuck him. All right, the next one is, what is a book that reminds you of a vacation or of vacation? Uh, this is going to be a little weird because it has nothing to do with vacation and it's set in a place that's kind of cold and rainy. But I remember when I was about 16, I went to Quebec for a summer and I read I Capture the Castle by a lake when it was all warm out. And so I was kind of on the bank sunning myself and reading I Capture the Castle. I actually didn't like I Capture the Castle that much, but I still remember kind of that, that warm, beautiful summer feeling of being out reading a book on, on the grass by the pond. So that was my first, uh, was my first thought. Okay, the next one is, which book has a warm getaway where you wish you could escape? Uh, the weird theme building up here is books I don't necessarily like, but the first thing that popped into my head. And so this one I had was uh, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, which I think I also read when I was like 16 during the summer on summer vacation. Um, but I feel like apart from the ones who were forced to stay at home, one goes to Florida, and one goes to Greece. And so either of those sound fine to me when it's cold out. And even though it's not, you know, freezing and snowy here, it's still cold. So I'd still prefer to be in Greece, I suppose. Okay. Uh, and then the last one is, if the power goes out, what book do you have on your bedside that you go to in case you have nothing else? For this one, I kind of vacillated between a few options. Ultimately, I settled on Little Women. 
because it's a book that I've loved forever. I know it has so many flaws and I know like Good Wives is terrible. I feel like if you just stop at Little Women, you're in a much better place with your reading. But um, but yeah, I Little Women is sort of an easy choice. It always feels like getting into a comfortable bath. You know the characters, you love the characters, you know where the story's gonna go. It's a little bit heartbreaking and a little bit funny. And even though again, it has its problems, I think I think that's the one that is, and it's long. So if the power's out for a while, I know I'm in good hands. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, this was my first kind of one-off tag. I was thinking of also maybe doing the Harry Potter tag, but that seems kind of old and I don't know. I'll, t I'll see if I'm, if I'm up to doing that one. But, uh, but other than that, I tag anyone who wants to take part. There's nobody that I can think of to tag right now, but I may tag some people down in the description box if it, if it occurs to me later. Either way, I hope you had fun with this, kind of trying to to do a little bit of something different with some shorter videos and then some more compact content, I guess. I promise never to do another 45 minute video. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll split those in half in future. Um, and I'm probably not gonna read as much this month anyway. So, but beyond that, if you want to do this, I highly recommend it. It was a lot of fun thinking up some of the answers. And uh, otherwise, tell me below how you would answer them if you don't have a channel. And um, hopefully I'll see you later. All right, thank you, bye-bye.